to Alloy Fix Rumford. Today we're repairing a really badly damaged wheel due to the snow that's just happened. Uh, we don't normally do repairs like this, but we thought we'd do it for the sake of this video and to showcase some of our skills. Um, my colleague Zach's going to be walking you through the process, so please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Here we got the, uh, the wheel, which was uh, badly damaged, just right underneath. That's why it's driving in London these days. Um, pretty big pieces missing. We got quite a lot of heat, so it does aluminium get a little softer then, and uh, it's easier to work on aluminium when it's soft. So, what we're gonna do in that area just right in here, we got a ditch, so it's kind of wherever will hit the pothole, so it creates a small ditch. So what we want to do, apply the pressure to our lovely hydraulics here, uh, roughly about five ton, so then it slightly pushes all out. All of the buckles are magically disappeared. Um, so what we want to do now is basically weld the new piece, just right along the edge. Uh, to do that, obviously I have to clean the weld first, clean the aluminium, as you can see, there's lots of holes and the dust stuck. So we have to degree some clean aluminium, shape it a little bit all off, and then uh, we weld it out. So what we got there, we build up I think about 15 or 16 layers of aluminium, one by one, just to get it stronger. Um, that's how it looks like after the welding. Um, what we want to do now is uh, put on a uh, stretching machine once again, check if the uh, wheel is not out of the shape. The wheel is back on a stretching machine now. we got a manual lathe, X and Y, in on sidewoods. So what we try to do now, the weld, which is just right on the edge, gently cut it off. Amazing, huh? <laughs> nice, no? Now, next step is powder coating, coloring, diamond cut, and uh, lacquering. So, guys, here we go. We got the wheel which was just powder coated. So, the layer of powder is just gone on it. So, what we're gonna do now, uh, we're gonna put it up on the CNC and we're gonna cut the face off just to create that diamond uh, cut effect. say perfect I give you uh, five seconds if you can manage to spot where was the damage I will just twist the wheel slightly some of you might know because obviously IMG signed is there small clue where it could be let's check the back because like I say I especially left the, the marks of the hydraulic lifters just for you to know where the damage was the marks are here again I didn't send them down, just specially for that. And there we go. That's the damage. That's the area which was previously damaged. Like I said, the most important which we need to pay attention is uh, the lines. The lines are really straight. There's no any kind of signs of bubbling from the welding as well. That means uh, the weld is 100%. And that's, that's pretty it. Next step is just the lacquer, the grease the wheel. Uh, put it back to the oven for the uh, acrylic lacquer and off we go. Let's go. 